My name is Dr. Akinkumi Lori, and I work at Avon HMO as the Head of Provider Relationship Management. Yes, basically, um, provider relationship management entails the onboarding of hospitals, healthcare facilities, and also maintaining a very, very good relationship with them to make sure that their services are top-notch and a standard protocol. It's a partnership between the HMO and the healthcare facilities, you know, to bridge the gap that enrollees need to um, have healthcare delivered to them. So the HMO cannot work without the hospitals, and the hospitals, of course, most of them cannot work without the HMOs as well because HMOs are able to give them the desired volume that they seek. So basically, um, healthcare facilities help keep our enrollees happy, giving them the services that they need, both primary, secondary, and tertiary services. There are certain criteria that HMOs use in choosing healthcare facilities. Number one is the location. Because the HMO needs healthcare facilities in different localities and different regions, we have to have a good spread of healthcare facilities. So we have to choose different locations for these healthcare facilities. Also, the services that they render is also very, very important. You know, we um, acquire healthcare facilities for different services that they offer based on if it's a primary service, a secondary service, or a tertiary service as well. But also, the standard and uh, the quality of care that these um, facilities can render to us. You know, we don't just go for any facilities just because they are out there, just because they propose to us to get onboarded. We have to look at their standard of care and the quality that they are going to provide to our enrollees. Relationship is key in any partnership. So for our um, providers, for our healthcare facilities, you need to make sure that you are in tune with them, that you are in sync with them. You know, via visitations and uh, inspections, phone calls, emails, you know, this is how we make sure that we keep a close relationship. We make sure that periodically we visit these providers, make sure that um, we do our quality assurance due diligence, and also we make sure we relate with them. They are key management personnel, you know, they are medical directors, they are HMO managers and the likes. We have to make sure that we have a good rapport with them. You know, this also you know, spills over to how they also treat our and release who are their patients because um, this, this relationship is in sync. It will also, you know, spread to the and release. There are certain quality assurance protocol that we go through. You know, when we go to visit these providers, we have a checklist. We have things we check to make sure that this um, provider is up to the standard that even HMO requires. Things as basic as water supply, the source of electricity, you know, how, how clean the environment is and all that. So we go there and we do our due diligence and we make sure that they check all the lists that we have. There are certain sanctions that are carried out to healthcare facilities who default on things that are on their great contracts, you know, and great standards. So we operate what is usually called a three-strike rule. You know, if, uh, if a provider defaults once, um, we send a warning, you know, a letter um, to the medical director. We send some sort of letter informing them that this has happened. And so they're able to make those corrections and then uh, forge ahead. If they do it the second time, most times we have to give them a suspension ranging from three months to six months, depending on the gravity of the offense. And uh, if it happens a third time, most times um, this um, provider will have to be delisted from the network because we need to keep that um, quality standard very high. When you have a good relationship with your providers, it spills over to the enrollees. So our duty is to get the best of the best healthcare facilities for our enrollees. We have to put them in mind when we are choosing these healthcare facilities. And the interesting thing is that um, some of the requests to onboard healthcare facilities actually comes from the clients, come from the enrollees. So we'll make sure we're able to give them the best possible care at any point in time. And also that whenever they do need this care, um, it's prompt and it's, it's, it's uh, something that is of the highest um, standard. So we make sure that our enrollees are happy. We're giving them the best care 
they can have both at primary to tertiary levels at all times because we partner with both private hospitals and uh, tertiary centers which are the government hospitals, teaching hospitals and all that. So whatever level of care that the really needs at any point in time, we're able to deliver that care. And it's not just in the major towns and cities of the world, even in the other regional areas, the rural areas, we also have um, healthcare facilities in these areas to cater to their needs. So we also um, have recently launched our mobile app which makes things quite easy for our end release. There are certain things that they can do on the mobile app, ordering their medications, virtual consultations and the like. So this is also very, very beneficial to them and I think it's going to be great. It's going to be a great year for even end release.